but are we to notify an election on the basis of a last minute boardroom rapture, the details of which remain scanty and contradictory between the chairperson of the commission and some of its members? In the absence of any evidence of violation of the constitution and our electoral laws, how can we upset an election in which the people are participating without hindrance as they made their political choices pursuant to Article 38 of the Constitution. To do this would be tantamount to subjecting the sovereign will of the Kenyan people to the quorum and ticks of IMBC. This we cannot do. Clearly, the current dysfunctionality at the Commission impugns the state of its corporate governance, but does not affect the conduct of the 2022 election. In view of the foregoing, we are satisfied that notwithstanding the divisions apparent between the chairperson and the four commissioners, IMBC carried out the verification, tarring, and declaration of results in accordance with Article 138.3c and 10 of the Constitution.